Hello guys, Life Hackster here. This is the second part of the video that I made last week and today I'll talk about battery options for your He home cameras. If you saw my video last week and I'll put the link in the description down below, I showed that the Yi home cameras will continue recording to the micro SD card even if there's no internet or Wi-Fi connection. This means that if somebody cuts off your internet connection at home, the camera will still be recording. So today, I'll show you some options for a backup battery for the Yi camera so that in a worst case scenario, that bad people were able to cut off electricity and internet on your house, then your camera will still be able to record video footage. I tried looking at UPS or the un uninterrupted power supply first, but they're just bulky and it's kind of an overkill trying to provide power to a 5 volt camera with a 110 voltage. So I first tested power banks and I got a couple from Walmart. This one is a $9 one called the ON with an extra N and I guess this is a Walmart brand. And I also have the smaller one right here and I think I bought it for three to four dollars which doesn't work at all as a backup power supply because you cannot simultaneously plug into the USB while it is charging. This is how most power banks are designed. So I'll plug in my USB light right here and as you can see it will not turn on when the battery pack is being charged. But when I pull out the charger, then you can use the battery to power up the light. So this power bank will not work as a backup power supply. Now testing it again, putting in the power will cut off the light. Just like that, so it will not work. Now I also have the bigger 4000 milliamp hour model, which is about 9 bucks at Walmart, and which will work but with one limitation. It will give power to the USB even when it is charging. But when the power is out, it will turn off for a quick second when the power bank transitions to battery power. So when I try to unplug the charger, it will turn off my light. So when the Yi camera is hooked up and when the power is out, it will turn off the camera just enough to restart it. So the camera will restart which is around one and a half to two minutes and then the camera will start recording again. So this battery pack can be used as a backup power but I just tested this for a week without problems and I don't know how long the battery will last especially that it will be plugged in all the time. So I tried looking at Amazon to see if anybody is making a battery pack that can be used as an uninterrupted power supply for the Yi cameras or for any 5 volt security cameras for that matter. So I found this battery pack from Talent Cell which is specifically made for 5 volts and 12 volt LED lights or CCTV cameras. It comes in a generic unmarked box and we have some instruction manual which is pretty detailed. We also have the charger and the splitter cable and the battery pack itself which is the size of a deck of cards. We have the on and off switch, a USB port and a charger port and turning it on will show the battery level. So let's test this out with our USB light first just to show it better for you guys then we'll install it with a Yi camera
So let's plug it in. Then we'll plug in the light, which should turn on. And to turn on the battery, you need to turn the battery pack on. So to test it, when we unplug the power supply, the battery should be kicking in without turning off the light just like that plugging back in shouldn't affect the light so this works and it should work with our Yi camera now let's plug in our Yi camera now it should power on and start up which takes about one and a half to two minutes and then the yellow light should turn off when it starts recording plugging the charger on and off shouldn't affect the camera So this battery pack works. Now this is how I'll set this up. As you can see, the charger is plugged in and it goes to the battery pack. Then the camera is plugged into the USB port. We now have a camera that will continue to record at least five to six hours even when the electricity and the Wi-Fi is out. So thanks for watching guys. I'll put the links to the products that I used in the description down below. Please like and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos of everyday life hacks and product reviews. Thank you.